I'll give you a list of things that usually impact most of us in a bad way that uh, drain us and take more time than we ever want to admit, but I'll put them under the topics, Harry, of worry, fear, anxiety, pressure, and stress, just to name five, okay? Now, here's the problem I've realized. If you wait until you're in the middle of the problem, if you wait until you're in the middle of the crisis, it's almost too late, right? Because you're in the middle of it. So what I realized, and this is another one of these crazy simple thoughts, what I realized was, why would you wait, Harry, until you're in the middle of the problem? Why would you wait? In fact, here's an interesting, crazy thought. It turns out, Harry, you can usually, anybody in this room, you can usually tell, Harry, whether somebody is self-reflective or not by talking to them for about 15 minutes. And the reason for that, I say, is that people that are not self-reflective, they're constantly surprised. They're always surprised. And you're surprised, they're surprised. If you're self-reflective and self-aware, there's not that many things to be surprised by. You may not know when it's going to happen, but you can predict it. It could happen at some point, right? I mean, everybody in this room at some time or another is going to lose a job, right? Everybody in this room at some point in your life, somebody you love and cherish deeply is going to pass away and die. It's unfortunate. It's sad. But it shouldn't be a surprise, right? Because it's going to happen. And what I realized was, well, if you're self-reflective and you're, you, you, you're thoughtful enough to think about things that could happen, then, Harry, why wait until the problem occurs? So I got this very simple little diagram, Harry. It goes like this. I've yet to see the person whose life goes like this. It just gets better and better. And maybe it's you, Harry. I don't know. Life, life just constantly gets better, right? For most of us, it looks a little bit more like this, right? There's a little bit of wave. There's highs and lows. And by the way, if I graphed it out, Harry, hopefully there's a little upward slope to this, this little curve. But what I realized was there's ups and there's downs, right? So some of the ups, you know, you get married, you have kids, you got a good job, downers, right? The company goes bankrupt, you know, you, you, something goes wrong in your life or whatever. And what I realized was, wait a minute, what am I going to do when things are going really well? So here's another question for folks. When things are going remarkably well, not good or great, but remarkably well, what's the one thing you know for sure? It's got to go down, Alex. It's got to go down. Because it, uh, shit does happen, right? Because, because, because if you think about it, if you think about it, if it didn't go down, then you'd be on this straight line curve with, with Harry, right? So, so it, is, it is a little bit like this, okay? So here was, here was my big aha, Harry. What I realized was, I asked myself the question 20-some years ago. When things are going really well, Harry, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I realized the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have gratitude. I'm going to thank people, we're going to celebrate, we're going to celebrate. That's the first thing we're going to do. But here's the second big thing we're going to do, Harry. We're going to ask ourselves the question, what are we going to do when things turn down? Because we know they are. And I realized there's only two things we have to do. There's only two things I'm going to do, we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do, Harry, is we're going to try to do the right thing. Now, when you say you're going to do the right thing, that makes one enormous assumption. What's the right thing? So I better surround myself with some values-driven people whose values I appreciate and respect that'll help me figure that out. We're gonna, we're gonna try, in an uncertain world, we're gonna try to do the right thing. That's the first thing we're gonna do. And the second thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the best we can do, because that's all we can do. And I'll tell you, Harry, I'm giving you the short version of this, but what I would say, if you can convince yourself that no matter what happens in your life, and picture your worst nightmare. I mean, whatever that happens to be, right? A child dies, whatever. If you can convince yourself that no matter what happens, I'll try to do the right thing, I'll do the best I can do. I'll try to do the right thing, I'll do the best I can do. I would argue worry, fear, anxiety, pressure, and stress can be significantly reduced. I'm also convinced they can't be eliminated, right? One, we're human, so welcome to the human race. And two, we've all had bosses that would say, you know, Harry, a little bit of pressure isn't all bad. The problem is we got a lot more than a little bit. We got a lot more than a little bit, right? And that, that, that process for me had a very, very big impact. We're going to keep it in perspective. And we're never going to get too wound up about it because as a daily mantra, we'll try to do the right thing. We'll do the best we can do.